Hey guys, in today's video, I bring you some techniques to create another product design. Today, we'll see how to create this earphone. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what I'd like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class. Let's start by creating a circle. In steps, we'll set the volume to 3 and convert it to editable poly. With the shell, we'll give the piece thickness. Add a new edit poly and create a copy of the piece. We will position it above the first piece and then adjust the size so that it matches both. Once that is done, we'll join the piece with the boolean modifier. Apply a symmetry on the y-axis and convert it to editable poly. Now we will delete half of the piece and use red topology modifier to create a new mesh from these shapes. Here I need a line connecting the two shapes. For head topology to create this line, we will return to the piece and add a new loop in this part of the piece and connect the points. We will return to the retopology and now we will have the mesh working better. Here we can cover it to editable poly and remove these loops. Add a symmetry again. and use the loop regularizer to transform the shape to a perfect circle on both sides. Let's align it so that it becomes a cylinder in the side view. We remove this loop and adjust the height of the part. In the top view, we will improve the mesh a little. Apply a chamfer to the edge to round the corners. I will enlarge the bottom part a bit and apply a new loop in the center. Remember to align it on the z-axis so that it looks correctly. In the bottom part, we will remove this loop and transform the shape into a circle. We will align it according to the top part, so that the circles is in the center of the part. Just copy the position on the x-axis and paste it on the bottom circle. Now add a new loop so that the edge is uniform. Let's select some face and extrude then the words creating a detail. We'll select this face and use detach to separate them from the model. I will change the color to make it easy to see. Returning to the parts, we will create a very simple cavity. and add a support loop inside. In the part that we separated, we use the shell to give it thickness.
We return to editable poly and create the same cavity so that it fits into our upper piece. Add a loop inside and arrange it so that it's correct. Let's delete its interior and adjust the thickness and adjust the thickness of the shape. Add support loops and open some divides to soften the shape. To finish the piece, we will give it a rounder appearance like protective foam. We return to the upper piece and I will lower this loop. In the upper part, we use the loop regularizer again transforming the face into a perfect circle. We adjust the position of the piece and with the detach we separate this upper part. I will change the color of the piece and create a shape of the earphone rubber. In the description we have a reference to help to create this piece. Adjust the oversize of the piece, make it as close as possible to the reference. Let's add a loop in the center and with the scale we increase the size in the center. At the top part we will create a hole and apply on shell to give thickness to our piece. In the segments I will leave into a tool to add a loop on the edge. Add a support loops in this part to maintain the shape and finally the modifier to soften the shape. In our central piece we will add the detail on the upper part. We will add the open subdivide modifier value of 1 and apply an edit poly above. We will select some face and transform them into a circle. These details will be in the part of the earphone charging connector. We will extrude the shape to create the holes and with the detach we will separate the face. I will change the color to make it easy to see. We will add a shell and open some divide modifier. To finish, we will return to the central piece and add a notch in the center of the piece. Add a new loop in the center and with the extrude we will create a notch. Apply a chamfer to keeping the edge harder. Once that is done, we will adjust the colors of the model and create a copy using the mirror. That's it, the model is finished. I hope you enjoy the content. See you the next time. Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.